All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going to one of our favorite Play It Again sports. The last time we were here, I had thousands of golf clubs. Thousands of uh, golf clubs. So hopefully they still got a few good deals for us. Always looking for golf clubs or anything else cool that we could use ourselves, sell online, or just have fun trying out the uh, golf course and then donate to a thrift store at the end. But never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. That was a mouthful that time. Yes. But uh, hopefully they still got some uh, good deals from last time. I literally remember them having like 5,000 clubs. Yes, it was overwhelming. Overwhelming to uh, say the least, but let's see if we can't find some good deals. Whoa, this is way more clubs than I remember. And I remember this having one of the biggest selections that we've ever seen in a Play It Again sports. This is crazy. Like overwhelming. Yeah, overwhelming to say the least. We got some uh, 975D going for $29.99. Absolute classic. Top flight gamer. Oh, I don't even know where to start. Let's start over here with, oh, we got a uh, Ping G425. Going for 229 on that one. We got a uh, King Cobra F8, three and four wood, and a uh, hybrid right next to each other. Going for, whoa, this is only 19.99. What? That's crazy. You're definitely going to uh, pick that one yes. up. We got a uh, F9 driver. Hopefully that's 19.99. <laughs> nice. Going for a 199. Oh, look at all these. We got a bunch of uh, weirdos over here. We got a bomb tech driver, 450 cc. We actually did a review of the uh, bomb tech clubs. They're okay. Actually, the uh, owner of uh, bomb tech commented on it. He's like bombs away. <laughs> that was funny. It's kind of funny. What do we got on the GX7? 49.99. It's not a bad deal on that. Oh, look at this. We got the uh, the vertical groove driver. I think. Yeah, the vertical groove driver. That's pretty crazy. 79.99. Got the. Uh, I thought that was a Kurokage shaft. It's the Aldi Law. Haven't seen one of those in a person. Uh -uh. So apparently, like, it doesn't put side spin on because the grooves are vertical. Which science? Science. That actually is the opposite of uh, science. <laughs> <laughs> we got the uh, Nike Moxie. This is actually the best looking of the uh, square drivers, in my opinion. Which. Yeah. I'm really saying I'm one much. I'm the few people that actually like them. I got used to them. Yeah. The sound ever though, you'll never get used to. Yeah, you need some earplugs and you're good to go. This is actually one of my uh, favorite Cleveland drivers right uh -huh. here. Cleveland Classic, going for 99.99. That thing is super long, and it was kind of cool. It came out like as a lower CC option, like lower uh, uh, head size, but uh, it was kind of weird to come out with uh, recently. Yeah. Everybody was trying to get bigger, and they were going smaller. Got some rogues that have turned into goose as we like to say. You got a Cleveland Launcher HB5 wood going for 100 bucks on that. Man, they got a ton of uh, Callaway Rogues in here. What else? Oh, nice, we got some uh, Nikes. Nike Covert VRS and the VRS Tour. We actually uh, found one of those in a uh, auction thing that we bought. It was one of our first videos. Yeah, hmm. that was a while ago. It's going for 70 bucks. I think we spent like $100 total on the uh, auction. Oh, it had like a full bag, set yeah. of irons, some Vokies. Orange Whip? Yeah, Orange Whip, that covered the uh, deal right there. You got a Callaway Edge, Costco uh, exclusive right there. I don't know if it's still an exclusive with Costco. No, no, no. Got some Tour Edge. I've been obsessed with the Tour Edge woods lately. Yeah, one that looks very similar. Very similar to uh, that one. Oh, we got uh, some, <laughs> we got the uh, Square Strike. <laughs> I was about to say the uh, CBX2, Ashley's favorite, the uh, Square Strikes. Yeah, what are we going for? Oh, is that an Aldi Light NV shaft in there? It's like the there. ultimate colorway. Oh no, it's not. It is a uh, different shaft than standard. Forty nine ninety nine yeah. on that one. What else do we got? Uh, oh, we got a spin doctor in here. Spin doctor going for five bucks. <laughs> yes. Got some fun at a uh, par three with that. What is it? Oh, it's a sixty degree. It's kind of cool. You can like, um, it has removable inserts. So like, depending on how much spin you want on yeah. there, or how many golf balls you want to mess up. Interesting design. Yeah. yeah, interesting to say the least. That, that club almost belongs with the. Uh, the grenades of the, the GX7s. Let's <laughs> see what else. Gimmick section. Be fun. Know, speaking of a, not a gimmick, but a uh, as seen on TV, you got the XE1 wedge. Got two of those. What else we got over here? Ping Zing lob wedge. Oh, we got a, a newer MP4 5 iron loose going for $9.99. That's a crazy deal. This club looks familiar. Oh, yeah. Comment <laughs> below if you remember the Ben Hogan Brilliant <laughs> Copper video. Uh, I think that video is up to 17 million views. Yep. Uh, what else do we got over here? We got Cleveland Mashy Fairway Wood. These are super underrated. They kind of look goofy. They look like a, almost like a combination of a uh, hybrid and a fairway wood. Mm -hmm. People stay away from those, but I kind of like them. Twenty nine ninety nine. They work. They work. They work. They work. Yeah. There you go. If only uh, I uh, employed that logic <laughs> in my game. <laughs> what else do we got? We got a bunch of a uh, King Cobra Baffler DWSs. Oh, nice. We got some up. Uh, 975 Pro Trajectories. I get excited about the 975D over there. The 975 F uh, Fairway Wood. What else do we got? 904. Oh, we got a uh, full set of these uh, Adams ones. We actually have one of those. My dad used the, that with the uh, Senior Flex and the Matrix Ozeek shaft for a while. Mm -hmm. For a while. For him, it's like 
five days and it's a while. Yeah, that is a long oh, you got a, a Nike uh, Sumo? Yep, for 30 bucks. 30 bucks, not a bad deal. Oh my goodness, look at all of these putter. Mm -hmm. We got a uh, Odyssey number nine. Oh, Versa number nine. Oh no, this is the works number nine. I know what I'm talking about. 70 bucks on uh, that one. We got the uh, matching uh, number seven going for 80 bucks on that one. Oh, look at this. We got one of the uh, redneck putters. We found one of these at a garage sale for $3 and yeah. I bought it as a joke and I looked it up. It's uh, one of the John Daly putters. Mm -hmm. It's like a premium milled putter. It ended up be worth, uh, being worth like a hundred bucks. It felt really nice. 60 bucks on that. Yeah, it feels super nice. What else do we got over here? You've seen uh, had, uh, Taylor made spiders either a knockoff or seeing better days. Oh no, it is a, <laughs> it is a Taylor made spider. Oh, better days? <laughs> it's like 30 inches. Huh. It's like almost like someone took a blowtorch to it or something yeah. like that. What else do we got over here? Uh, oh nice the original grip on that how much are we going for 29.99 you're pulling out all the uh, good stuff today what else we got there's like thousands of clubs it's getting overwhelming we got a uh, odyssey dart over here most of the time when you find these they're cut down from belly they're really popular as a belly putter and as i said that it's not it's just a regular one <laughs> you got anything else over there Curry putter. Oh. It's like the finish, but I didn't realize. Curry, curry uh, Slazenger putter? That's pretty sweet. He made putters for Slazenger and Wilson for a yeah. long time. That is, it's like we a like mint condition, tag. too. Dang, you're finding all the good stuff. Temp <laughs> Whoa, deals. check that out. Nike VR Forged. Yeah. I was right next to it. Do I, even oh, see it? I don't think they're in a very good condition, though. Uh, yeah, kind of looks like rust. surface rust on it. Let's see if they, uh, you can always tell by the pitching. They're only 249. These things still go for a lot. Yeah. Oh man, the actual faces look good. It's just surface rust. Yeah. Like the back cavities have more wear than the actual clubs. Wow. Let's check out the uh, 7 iron too. Still got the paint fill in there and everything too. 7 iron doesn't have any uh, wear. What shafts do we got in these? Oh, the Dynamic Gold Pros. These are stiff flicks. We might be uh, in business here. Yeah, S300s. Wow. Those are one of your bucket lists. Yeah, I hate saying but we say it all the time, but my bucket list is very long, but those are definitely on. If you guys have watched this channel before, you know I'm the obsessed with the uh, Nike long, stuff. Yes. We got some of uh, Mizuno JPX 900, 700, all the way down to the gap width. Oh, they got Acra shafts in there too. Dang. Those are super expensive shafts. Mm -hmm. What else do we got over here? Some Nike Coverts, Apex Pros. Let's see what we got in terms, we already went through the uh, putters. Got a bunch more iron sets over here. Oh, look at this. We got a whole ladies section. Huh. Oh, wow. You can have some fun in here. <laughs> That's crazy. Normally it's like one or two clubs. It's like, yeah. This ladies section is bigger than most played against sports whole golf sections. We got a Callaway Rogue. They have, there's like 30 Callaway Rogues in here. 120 on the ladies one. 20 bucks on the Big Birth of Heaven one. Big Birth of Heaven. Like from 2000 and on, I feel like I've played every single uh, round that i play with a uh, female golfer they have the uh, that or the old warbird heavenwood yep. very good they're very good and now they're affordable yeah it's like with the logic before if it works don't uh, don't break <laughs> it i don't know what we said before there's too many clubs in here i'm yes. getting overwhelmed <laughs> got a ton of iron sets oh look there's literally even more iron sets over here Super got some mac tech mvg twos got some tailor-made racks wow i'm gonna have to take a minute to go through uh, all of those Probably pretty boring. You're already pretty bored probably by the uh, video. Just, yeah. Oh, we got some, I think those are Ping ISIs. Oh, Ping ISIs, original grip. I don't know if those ones are priced yet. They might've just gotten those in. Let's take a look at the uh, iron sets over here. Some Slingshot 4Ds going for 119. Not a terrible deal on that. What else we got? Nike Ignite, almost uh, is a, uh, much as Ashley's favorite as the uh, CPRs. Yes. <laughs> Those ones are a little bit better. Yes, they were yeah. kind of like a budget offering. Well, the, the CPRs did make a redemption. That's yeah. why I, I hit them better than, yeah, I almost when, didn't start golf at all because of a horrible Those experience are the first clubs them. I gave her and she hated them. Yeah, like, at least oh. Ben Hogan BH5s was one of the uh, first irons that uh, Ben Hogan made after they got bought by Callaway. Mm -hmm. and you can, they look very similar. They look very similar. You buy one of the uh, most well respected uh, brand names that are like high end. And then you make like just a clone knockoff. Oh, speaking of it, look, just look at the difference between yes. these. The Bed Hogan Apex Plus versus CFT. Cast versus Beautiful Forgings. I'll let oh, you guys wow. decide which one I like better. <laughs> I think we've gone through everything. We might have gone through it twice. I have no idea. Oh, man, look at how many bags they have up there. That's crazy. Oh, check that one out. Nike Resid. Den Caddy. 
Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Might have to. Uh, this one is for sale. Yeah. It's too beautiful. Highly it's doubt that. It's in pristine condition, too. We'll have to uh, inquire about that. But what do you think? Those Nikes? I don't know what to think about Got the original it. grips. I think we're going to get those. <laughs> All right, well, I convinced Ashley to let us get the Nike irons, but the uh, Den Caddy was a no-go, according to Play It Again Sports. Yeah, that thing's gone on my bucket list now. That thing is so cool. Yeah, bucket list irons, bucket list Den Caddies. We have a uh, weird assortment of things, but we have found some crazy irons in the past couple of videos. Mm -hmm. Some T100, some uh, Callaway Apex 21s, but I think I'm most excited about these. We'll get into the story why, but basically PGA Tour players used to hoard these and another one of the uh, Nike models a lot. But we're out at the course, excited to try them out. We're gonna do a little three hole challenge. If you can shoot bogey golf or better, we're gonna get ourselves a treat. You want to uh, lead us off or you want me to go with the Nike irons? No, I'll let you go. All right, we'll uh, save your shot for the uh, par three. There. Maybe you almost got a hole in one last time, so maybe these are the ticket. The easiest way to a bogey golf. The easiest way to bogey golf is get a hole in one. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Life lessons here. Well, those things are forgetting. I hit that terribly and it went dead straight. I think I hit that below the bottom groove on there. But Ashley's got about 100 yards. You gonna go with like a nine or eight iron? Sure, good. Practice for the next hole when you get a hole in one. Perfect. Perfect, we're playing alternate shot. I don't know if I said that. Oh, it's right at it. Go, 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 go. Well, if you average out John's thin shot and my chunky shot, I think we would have had a pretty good shot. But I'm also really proud of myself because I took a divot. I never take a divot. John always says, if you actually hit the ground, you do better. But instinctively, I'm scared of the ground. So proud of myself for that. But I think John's up with the spin doctor. Yep. It's spin doctor time. Nice shot. It spin at all. It Not a shot. shot though. Well, it didn't spin at all, which is a good thing because I didn't hit it hard enough. But uh, Ashley's got a little putt here for uh, par. Start us off on our little uh, bogey streak here. Well, under bogey streak. You want to go with the Seymour or the Kirk Curry? I already brought you the Seymour. Seymour it is. Seymour it is. I'll go back. No, it's not worried. World's the greatest putter. Doesn't matter what you putt with. Oh, my. <laughs> oh man, there was a gravitational pull there. I think I welded it. <laughs> World's greatest putter, anything goes in. Well, I think I used the force on that one because I have no idea how that went in. Also, you guys have been commenting that the new shot tracer line looks like a lightsaber. I've been trying to convince John to make the sounds as well. Hopefully we don't get copyrighted on that, but I think it's almost worth it. But the next hole is a par 300 yards, hole in one tat. Get up. Ooh. Well, that felt really good. I don't think these are the clubs for me, though. And nothing new here. I didn't leave John with the easiest of shots. So, wish him luck. Why is it not spinning? Sad face. Bye. Well, I feel like I got the spin intern because it definitely didn't spin doctor right there. We've hit them before. And on full shots, they'll go like absolutely crazy, but not out of the rough, apparently. But Oh, sorry. I'm still taking in your dad joke. That was a terrible dad joke. She didn't awful. even laugh. No one else is laughing. Everybody's clicked off the video now. But <laughs> we got a downhill right to left putt. Nothing for the world's greatest putter. Oh, that looks perfect. Oh, the force didn't work on that one. That was a really good stroke, though. You hit that dead out of the center. Yeah. That felt really nice. Alright, leave me with this one. Yep. Trust me. I trust you. Ooh. Doesn't that feel nice? Yeah. Well, I kind of like that Kirk Curry putter. It kind of looks like the uh, Yes Tracy putter with that hosel structure. And I'm glad we're going into the uh, next hole, even par, because it is a beast. 360 yards, super tight fairway, and the green is insanely small. I'm going to go with the uh, King Cobra F8, which is only $20, which is a heck of a deal because they still go for $100 on eBay. Let's see if it's uh, any good. That'll do. Well, I've been working on my draw specifically for this hole and it has been paying off because I've hit some bombs with drivers on here and that was pretty good for a uh, three hybrid. Right down the middle of the fairway should have less than, actually I don't know how far we have because I usually hit drivers. So anywhere from whatever the tee box is to the hole. Yeah, I moved forward. So we have less than we started with. Oh, that could work. Roll off that hill. Oh, is it still going? No idea. Uh, I might have got caught up in the rough. That was a pretty good uh, line. Yeah, I was shocked to hit it at all. Yeah, you're kind of on a side hill line. The uh, hill was blocking you, so you hit that or else it would have been good. Yeah, th that's my excuse, right? Yeah. Well, John was trying to pay me a compliment, but I just hit that one terribly. We won't tell him, though. He's got a spin doctor in. Nothing new here. Getting attacked by dragonflies? He likes my shirt. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thinks it's a flower. Oh, he's good luck. This is thick. Sit. See who's good luck. That actually spun pretty good. Uh huh. I almost got taken out by a dragonfly, and that rough was insanely thick right there. Nothing like Bermuda, but that spin doctor came through in the clutch. I think we got about 15 to 12 feet for par. We might shoot even par. Yar. Ashley for par. Oh man, you've just been like three inches too short the whole time. Perfectly on a line, huh? You make me put this out? Yep. yep. It's all about that confidence. Made the three inch putt. Dragonfly again? No, let's get hit by first team. <laughs> well, our treat of the day is definitely something I'm not looking forward to partaking. It is a grilled cheese paniti with a jalapeno pickle and, and buffalo, buffalo sauce. sauce. Pretty it's delicious, actually. It's a little uh, too hot out for me. I need something to cool it down yeah, a little bit. The pickles cooled it down. The pickles cool it down? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, pretty good video. We only made one bogey. We missed out on the uh, life hack of just making a hole in one. I failed you guys. I'm sorry. We failed you guys. We also failed you guys in getting the uh, Nike resin den caddy. I'm going to dream about that. We need yeah. to find one of our Yeah, own. we definitely need to uh, find one of those. But uh, the irons, I, I liked the uh, short irons a lot, but the long mm -hmm. irons have this weird like split cavity. We hit a bunch of other shots with it. We'll throw up some shot tracers yeah. now or something like that. But uh, we hit a bunch of other shots with it. The long irons have a weird split cavity. They didn't quite feel as good as the uh, short irons. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of a funny story. A lot of the uh, Nike uh, staff players would hoard those. The uh, Nike Victory Red 2 Blades. Oh, okay. There's a funny story about uh, Tommy Fleetwood and uh, Paul Casey. We'll link that in the uh, description. There's an article about it. It's kind yeah. of uh, funny. Also, that's why I need to go for Halloween next year. Tommy Fleetwood. Tommy Fleetwood? He's my golf twin. Your golf twin. He's got longer <laughs> hair than you now. I know. I need to grow it out. Grow it out. By the time it's uh, Halloween, we'll uh, get it out yes. there. But, uh, yeah. Do I have to eat this sandwich? No. I think it's delicious. I'll, I'll give. A, I'll be the uh, trooper. Okay. This reminds me of something I would have ordered in like college. It's <laughs> my normal order. Actually, I've never done this one before. I like it though. It's better than you think it'd be. That's actually delicious. <laughs> you throw like a piece of chicken on there and you think it's like a grilled chicken sandwich. There you go. Perfect. No. Now you know. Perfect. <laughs> Hope you guys do like this video and hopefully you stick around till the next video. Also, we're getting super close to 150,000 subscribers. Which, thank you guys. That's just crazy to think about. Yeah, I never thought we would uh, say that phrase out of our mouths. We still haven't opened our uh, our silver plaque thing yeah. for 100,000. Maybe we'll do that it's at 150,000. We'll have a big giveaway and open up the uh, plaque. <laughs> This thing's really spicy. That's good. I'm usually like, the I can eat. Cool it down. I can eat ghost peppers, but when you have like buffalo and jalapeno, pickles. That's what makes it though. And pepper jack. <laughs> it's delicious. It's something. But hope you guys did like this video. Like, subscribe, and see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.